All right, it's February 4th, 2018. I'm Kelly McLaughlin, and I'm here with Kelly's Fireside Chat. My guest today is Zion Desiquera Campos McLaughlin, and he is a nine-year-old homeschool student. And we're going to talk today about the Blitzkrieg. So, my friend, do you know anything about the Blitzkrieg? Well, Blitzkrieg was uh, made famous by the Germans during World War II, but was used throughout centuries. And what was it? Blitzkrieg is a highly intensive form of warfare, which in German means lightning war. The way Blitzkrieg was used was that they'd a pack of cavalry, depending what, or tanks, depending where you were mm -hmm. in the time period, in a center as a spear point. At and you time, said Blitzkrieg meant what? Lightning war in German. Oh, lightning war. Blitz is lightning. Mm -hmm. And then Krieg means war. Yes. Oh, interesting. So, and on the flanks to secure supply lines would be infa heavy infantry, but usually it would be like cavalry or armored cars and such. And so, when was the time that most impressed you that they used this? 1939 to 1940. And, and what happened? And the beginning of 1940. Set me up. What was the background? So, in 1939, in uh, 1933, Hitler became Chancellor of Germany, uh, which is basically the Prime Minister or mm, President. So he's the boss. Yeah, basically the boss. So he won by a fascist election. And he was part of the fascist party. And, but he was elected. Yes, he was elected to the position. So the people really liked him. Yes. Hmm. So he began by uh, doing an Anschluss of Austria, which is the what? Anschluss. Anschluss? Anschluss. Anschluss. Oh. Of Austria, which which uh, Germany German soldiers marched into Austria and Austria accepted them in. So they didn't have to fight? Yeah, they basically just got annexed. Huh. They just joined them. Yeah. Hmm. So then Germany took the top part of Czechoslovakia. Hmm. And were leaving right at the capital, basically. They took it by fighting? Mm. No. They, they just went in there and Took it? Yeah, there's one that took a check spot he didn't oppose. Were they, oh, they liked them or were they afraid? They're terrified. Uh -huh. And so was Europe. But since uh, no one actually fought the Germans, you couldn't really declare war on them. Hmm. Then Germany and the Soviet Union split up. Because they weren't really fighting, it wasn't a war yet. It right? wasn't a war, they didn't declare uh -huh. war. Then Germany and Russia split Poland militarily, which I mean that they shot each other. Germany and Russia shot split each Poland. other. Oh, split so Poland. they conquered Poland. Mm -hmm. They divided it in half. Yeah. So Britain and France declared war. Because that was illegal. Yeah, because they didn't want war. But Britain and France didn't do anything in the beginning because they had to mobilize. They had to mobilize. And okay. Germany and the so Russians. So they declared war but didn't attack or fight. They didn't attack immediately. Mm -hmm. And the Germans and the Russians didn't attack immediately either because they had to bring the troops from Poland all the way up to the Rhine. In Germany. Yes, mm -hmm. Rhine River. Okay. So, to avoid the Marinol Line. The Mar Marinol Line. Marinol. Mm -hmm. Marinol Line. Where is the Marinol Line? Uh, it's on the border of Germany and France. Uh, so, it separates the two countries. Mm -hmm. And it's a line that they can't cross, otherwise, they're invaded. Uh, yeah, it's also a highly defensed line. Forts have been built over hundreds of years. By both sides? By, by both sides. Wow, okay. Uh, most That's because they like to conquer each other every couple yeah. of years, right? Yeah. Okay. Mainly because um, it's mainly built by the French, though. Alright. So they were behind their fortresses, ready to defend their, their country, right? The yep. French. Alright, and then what happened? Now, the Germans and the Russians knew that it'd be suicide to charge it. They just lose way more, probably not in the sea Wait a minute. The Russians were helping the Germans? Yeah. Really? Th they had a, 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 a pact. Oh, I thought they were enemies. Pact. Okay. Not only. Only enemies until 1941. Mm -hmm. So, the Germans blitzkrieged through, through Luxembourg, Netherlands, and Belgium. Wow. That was and great. beat them really fast. Mm -hmm. And they're about to pour over the border. Is it because they had tanks? Tanks, yes. They had good tanks? No. The tanks were not very good, but they were fast. Very fast. Oh. They had like machine guns, no cannons yet. Mm -hmm. A couple of tanks had small artillery guns in them, really small. So how could they take over the tanks? Uh, no one really had anti-tank equipment either. Mm -hmm. 
and our artillery is way too slow. So the tanks were very effective. They were just fast enough to outrun the artillery, mm. and no one really had anti-tank weapons. Very interesting. So then they attacked France, but they France mm. immediately pulled a huge amount of soldiers, including most reserve, to stop them. Mm. Now the Germans were immediately halted by this huge French army. Good. And, and the Germans knew that they'd be halted, and oh. the Russians knew too. Yeah. So they attacked the Maryland line. Which is now they're defended. Um, there were enough troops on the Maryland. They pulled them away from the line. Just they did World War One. In World War One, they removed almost all the artillery pieces from the line to uh, go stop the Schlieffen Plan in Belgium. Sh was the Schlieffen Plan? Sounds um, German. I mean, definitely German. Definitely German. It was to um, flank to go through Belgium. What does Schlieffen Plan mean? Uh, it's just the name of a guy. Oh, oh, the dude's name was Schlieffen. Mm, yeah. And it was his plan. Yes, he was his plan. Oh, I got it. Okay. So they decided that um, Germany, once they reached Paris, France surrendered. Now, the French colonies did not surrender. The French loved Paris and they didn't want it destroyed. I know that. So, they loved Paris. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they would do anything not to have it destroyed. So, but the French colonies would not surrender. They mm -hmm. renamed themselves Free France because Germany made a puppet government called Vichy France, which is the capital of Vichy. Its capital was in Vichy? Mm -hmm. So that's a city? Yes. And where's the city, do you know? Uh, the city is on the lower part of France, okay, but almost touching the upper part. Oh, okay. So the Germans then attacked Britain. All the Britain is an island, so you can't really use They couldn't blitzkrieg them, right? Couldn't blitzkrieg them. So what the they trying to do? So that was the Blitzkrieg story, huh? And what was your favorite part about the Blitzkrieg? Why did it make such a big impression on you? Uh, they took all this land over in, uh, in about a year, a little under a year. Were people expecting them to be able to move so fast? Nope. That's why it was so effective. If everyone knew that they moved so fast, they would have had divisions already in place. Do you think it really changed the way people fought wars? Yeah. Did anyone else use the Blitzkrieg in the Second World War? Um, the Russians used Blitzkrieg throughout history. I don't know. To in various varying extent. Usually though they usually lost a bunch of people before they used Blitz Crater. They had lots of people to lose though, right? Now the big difference between the World Wars is that World War One was a static mm -hmm. war. It was yeah, about trenches. Morale. In trenches, right? Mm -hmm. No Blitz Creek in a trench. No right? Blitz Creek. Until tanks in 1918. It was a morale war. Uh -huh. Drain the opponent's morale, which is part of the German plan to a bomb one was the Zeppelins. Uh -huh. That was a great lesson on the Blitzkrieg. Thank you very much. Oh, but they also used it against Russia. Oh, you wanted to tell me more? Yes. So when they could beat the British Air Force, the RAF, right. they decided that they were going to go attack the Soviet Union for oil. Mm -hmm. And they also attacked the Norway in Denmark, but nothing really happened there. They just surrounded pretty quickly. Yeah. So when they attacked the Soviet Union, uh, the Russians, Stalin had just done a purge a few years earlier. Mm -hmm. And so all the units were overpromoted young officers. And so they blitzkrieged there? Blitzkrieged and took so much land so quickly from the Russians. That's great. Now, Hitler, though, was horrified. Because when his troops got to war, they had 3,500 tanks. That was mm -hmm. almost as many German tanks there were. Right. In the entire German tanks. army. Yeah. Now, that was because the Russians were using very easy to build and very easy to destroy tanks. And was it effective in defending the blitzkrieg? They could just throw so much, like what happened in France, how the French pulled all the soldiers and stopped the blitz. Right. In Belgium, until they lost America. So it did work both sides, right? Mm -hmm. hmm. So, but the Mount Russian tanks, they could fill them all over the huge front line. Yeah. So they just stopped the blitz crew slowly. They still lost a huge amount of battles. They warmed down. Warmed down, yes. Now, during Stalingrad, they're about... Well, that's a story for another day, don't you think? No, no, it's when the Blitzkrieg ends. Oh, right. So it's the end of the Stalingrad. So, they're about, about Stalingrad time. Yes. So it's not a big story, though, right? And there are three million German soldiers in Russia. Stalingrad's a really big story, though, right? No, it's pretty good. It's quick. I mean, I can tell you, quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeremy, Hitler said two million and three million soldiers in Russia of Stalingrad. That's a lot of people. They were encircled. After... Uh, did they give them the pincer? The Russians pincered them. Wasn't that a German tactic? Isn't that why it's called a pincer? Yeah, it was a, Pizza. It was a German yeah. tactic. Uh -huh. Except that they got the Russians beat the tactic. Mm -hmm. They used it against them. Mm -hmm. So they uh -huh. circled the sixth, sixth 
army of the Germans and forced it to surrender. And that stopped the Blitzkrieg? So many Germans were captured and killed there that the Germans just couldn't do that Blitzkrieg anymore. Couldn't keep Blitzkrieg. Not enough manpower. Awesome. And they're just driven back um, after them. Uh, until Kursk, but they lost Kursk horribly. That was a big tank battle, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was basically the story of the Blitzkrieg. It was also used in Africa, but that's a story for another time. Hmm. Thank you very much for sharing that with me.